In this video, we'll be discussing how to set up integration to seamlessly link your Shopify, WooCommerce, or Wix store directly with Artbeat Studios. This is perfect for any artist looking to sell prints of their work who doesn't want to manually place orders each time a customer places an order with you. The process can be as hands-on or hands-off as you'd like it to be, and you can offer as many or as few options as you would like. Now, once set up correctly, when a customer places an order on your site, the order will be sent straight through to Artbeat, where your image will then be printed and sent out to your customer. The items are gonna ship without any invoice, and your e-commerce platform will automatically email your customer to let them know that their print is on the way. Now, this truly is the easiest way to sell and fulfill print orders on your website. Let's go ahead and dive into how you can set up the integration for your own website. For this example, I'm gonna be using Shopify, but WooCommerce or Wix users are gonna have a nearly identical process. Now to start, you're gonna be on this landing page here. This is the Shopify landing page, but the Wix and uh, WooCommerce landing page is gonna be basically the same. It has some instructions here. You guys are already watching the video though, so no need to check out the instructions. Uh, that link is gonna be rbstudios.com slash integrations slash Shopify. Um, and we'll make sure to include links to all three of the e-commerce platforms down below here on this video. Now, essentially, the first thing you need to do is enter your Shopify domain or your WooCommerce or Wix domain when you're on that particular page. I already copied it, so I'm just going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit install. Now, once you hit install, that is going to bring you to this page here, which is the integration app that has been built out. So I'm gonna walk you guys through everything in this app that you need to know. We're gonna start first in settings. This is where you're going to um, kind of adjust things as you see fit to best fit your business and exactly what you wanna do with it. So you can go through, uh, the first thing you should check to make sure that it's been installed correctly is under this data connection, it should say connected. Um, if you need to manually sync, you can hit initiate sync right here. Um, otherwise, it should sync on its own. But if you, for some reason, just updated something and you need to sync it immediately, go ahead and hit initiate sync here. Uh, payment profiles, this is where you are going to upload your card information. Really important to note that this is where your payment to Artbeat is going to live at. This is not going to be anything regarding payment information like how your customers pay you or how your customers pay. This is solely regarding your card information because when a customer places an order uh, through your website, you get paid and then you have to use your payment information to pay Artbeat. This is where that information goes right here in this payment profiles. Now under configurations, you have order processing delay. Now this is really important because you can set this to whatever you want for your particular business. You can set it to zero if you want. You can set it to as many minutes as you like. Essentially what this does is after a customer places an order on your website, this sets the amount of minutes until that order goes through to Artbeat's website. Now this is useful in cases where you might wanna reach out to your customer after they've placed an order to make sure that, hey, this is the exact print you want, this is what you're getting, whatever. Um, or if you don't wanna do that at all and you just want it to be totally automated and as quickly as possible, just set that time to zero in there. Then that way when they place an order, the file will instantly get sent over to the lab to start getting printed out. So the choice is up to you. I think 60 is the default. Um, so set that to however many minutes you want until after they place their order, it gets sent over to Artbeat. This here is the cost calculator. This is just a nice way for you to be able to see the cost of something on Artbeat's website without having to navigate through all the tables on their website. So if you want to see how much something costs, you could select the medium here, put the width and the height, and it would, we'll do an example here just so I can show you guys. A four by six a white gloss metal print on a float mount. You can see estimated cost is about 2074. So you can just punch in numbers here if you need to get a cost on the fly and you don't wanna go straight to the website. Now down here, I think is a really, really cool feature, one of my personal favorites, and this is package customization. This allows you to personalize your shipments. So you can do things like upload your logo, your signature, you can do other little ad papers that you wanna put in there as well, and that's gonna get thrown in your box. So this kinda adds a personal touch to your order. This can be really nice if you wanna like throw in something like, oh, get 10% off your next print, here's a discount code, you can drag that here. Artbeat will automatically print it and throw it in the box for you. So it just adds a really, really nice touch. And I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to make any of these, um, but you can go ahead and make them on your own, upload them here, and then, or you can even put a postcard message as well. And those things will all get thrown in the box with your print um, that gets sent off to your customer. 
Now we're gonna go back to the dashboard here. Next thing that I wanna talk about is view albums. We're gonna to get to view products in just a second, but I wanna talk about albums first. Now, the way that albums works is these are the files that get sent to Artbeat. So this is really important because on your website, on your e-commerce website, the files that are getting shown to your customer as they're clicking through are likely not full resolution files because the e-commerce website downsizes those files to give the website a faster loading time. Now that downsized file isn't the one that you would want to print from. So Artbeat doesn't use that file that you've used to show on your e-commerce website. Instead, they're going to use these files here in albums. So you're going to link these files with the product that you have on your website, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in just a second. But you do need to know that you will need to upload the full resolution files here for every photo that you plan on selling and linking uh, to a product in your store. If you wanna do a little organization here, like on your website, maybe you have different, you have mountains and lakes and you have waterfalls, forests, you have different, uh, things, different organization structure, you can also have that here. So you can put albums in, you can create a new album, or you can just throw it all under one album. Totally up to you. Now I want to show you guys how to link those files. So this is where the products live. And it's actually really nice how you can map things so that the product automatically sends off to Artbeat. I'm going to show you guys really briefly just how to map to a metal print. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after I've mapped to everything. Um, and so this is exactly where you're going to do that. So first thing is first, you want to link your photo. Um, so right now I'm working on beach sunset is my product. You can see this is my, just my Shopify interface over here. Yours might look different if you are using Wix or Woo commerce. Um, but I've got beach sunset down here. The first thing that you need to do is link the photo. So if you don't have a photo linked, it's gonna pop up somewhere like this. If you don't link a photo, it will not be mapped. So the very first thing you need to do is link a photo. Now I know I'm working with beach sunset, so I'm gonna go through select an image, and then I'm going to select that beach sunset, which is right here. Then you need to click save changes. That will link that image to that particular product. Very important that you do this or else this whole process doesn't work. This is the very first step that you need to take is to link the photo. Then you can go see when you scroll down, the product is not yet mapped. I'm gonna show you guys how to map it. I'm gonna show you both what you need to do on your e-commerce website as well as on the integration app. First thing that I wanna map this for is medium. So I'm gonna go on here. Like I said, I wanna map it to metal print. So I'm gonna type in medium, and then I'm gonna add an option value, and I'm gonna do metal. If you wanted to add another option value, you could do that here as well. I'm actually gonna call this HD metal so that I can perfectly match what it's called in the shop. And then I'm gonna go over to my rule-based mapping, and I'm going to add the option name needs to match the option name in your store. So this is gonna be like medium. This is how I'd recommend formatting it, but you can word it however you want based on your shop. Option value, I'm going to do HD metal. That perfectly matches the option value here. Like I said, these have to match exactly or else it's not gonna be mapped correctly. Then I can go down and I can select what I want this to be mapped to. Now, like I said, it's HD metal, so I'm gonna map it to HD metal and I'm gonna do the white satin because that's the kind of print that I want to produce, but you could do really any of them if you wanted to. Then you will go ahead and hit submit, and you will have added that rule-based option mapping right here. Now, if I wanted to add another option, um, let's do another map for, let's say, mount slash frame, and let's do a float mount. We'll just say float mount here. We'll check float mount. I'm gonna hit submit. Now I need to add another option on my product here. I'm gonna do mount slash frame. Like I said, it has to match perfectly. And then value is going to be float mount. Hit done. Oh, and hit done on the first one as well. Now you can see I've got medium HD metal, medium HD metal, and then mount slash frame and float mount, mount slash frame and float mount. So it matches perfectly. So now my once this updates, my product will be perfectly mapped. And that is exactly how you want to do it with each and every product. And as you can see, there's so many different options here. So you can map it to as many or as few things as you like. Now, once you're totally set up here, it's going to look something like this. You can see I've got options mapped for all different kinds of prints with all different kinds of mounts and frames. I could put more if I wanted to, but these are the ones that I want to have. Now you'll see over here the variant status. It'll say mapped if the product is totally mapped 
all of these options. It'll say partial if it's not totally mapped. These ones say partial because the file that I've linked to is not quite large enough to print at a certain size. You'll see here image resolution too low for this size, uh, simply just because we've pulled these stock images off and I just uploaded a screenshot. So it is too small. It's really nice that it actually warns you. If you do upload a resolution that's too small, Artbeat isn't going to print something that's not gonna look good. So they wanna make sure to warn you about that right there. Now, just to show you again how it all matches up, as I mentioned, option name has to match the variant and then option values have to match the variant options essentially. So you can see I've got four on medium and then I have all of the option values are listed out. They match exactly, they must match exactly. And then same thing with mountain frame. I've got five here and then I've got five over here and they match word for word. Make sure that you match them word for word or they won't quite match up. Um, so that's essentially how all of the mapping works now really the last thing to show you about here is view orders. This is where you can see all the orders that have been placed. The interface is really nice, it's easy to use. It shows you the order number, shows you your customer name, how much they paid, and then it also shows you on Artbeats end. So it'll show you the status is the most important thing. So you can see this order is pending. The time is going down on this. I placed a little mock-up order, and so it is uh, 40 minutes away from being sent over to Artbeat. This is really nice. Um, and like I mentioned, that's what you can configure in the settings that I talked about a little earlier, but it's really nice because I essentially have 40 more minutes if I wanted to contact the customer. If the customer contacts me, I can still cancel the order before it gets sent off to Artbeat and gets finalized. So you can set that time to whatever you want. Um, but for me, I have 40 more minutes since this order was placed for me to go in and cancel it. Really nice feature to have. So if you are someone that wants to sell your artwork online, I'm sure you can tell how much more productive this is gonna help you be. You don't have to be taking all these orders manually, sending the files in. It does take a little bit of time to set up at the beginning, but once it's set up, it's totally all automated, super, super easy to use, and they've done a really great job on this app. We're gonna include links down below to all of the different landing pages depending on your e-commerce platform. So make sure to go check that out and set up integration with Artbeat Studios today. Thank you guys for watching.